Hello, and welcome to the BDMS Wellness Clinic. I'm Dieter Burkhardt, and it is my privilege to bring a special segment to you today called Ask the Experts. Today, we're joined with Dr. Suchida Konkiakamon, prosthodontist and maxillofacial prosthodontist here at the BDMS Wellness Clinic. Welcome, Dr. Suchida. Thank you. Today, our subject is tooth loss. Can you tell us what causes people to lose their teeth? There's actually so many factors that cause the tooth loss. For example, like gum disease you know, that can cause the tooth loss as well. The tooth decay or trauma. Or some people just get scared of the dentist. They don't want to go to see a dentist because of maybe of the, the past experience. And when the problem had arise, they just like, you know, keep the problem. Just wait until they have a real problem. They have a tooth pain, they have a toothache, so they go to see a dentist. And that time it might be too late already, and the tooth need to be like taken out. When the patient had a tooth loss, I would say, as everyone may have known, it's not easy. Mm. It's so difficult, you know. If you lost your back teeth, of course, you can't really chew like the same. Right. But if you lost the front tooth, you know, or the front teeth, I would say, like to me, it's embarrassing. Sure. You know, it's kind of like you don't want to smile. Right. Like some people have a very serious problem. They want to stay at home. They don't want to hang out with friends, like some kind of thing. So I, I think like tooth loss, like to me as a dentist, is a big issue. I agree completely. What options do people have if they've lost a tooth? Well, there's so many options out there. First one, when you have a tooth loss or when your teeth need to be taken out, the dentist might suggest to replace the tooth loss with the denture. Mm -hmm. However, the denture, you know, is a faulty the false teeth is not so easy to wear. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the plastic piece. Sometimes when you have like something in your mouth, when you start talking, eating, it might, you know, become like move a little bit. And then it gives the patient like difficult time to eat, to chew, to smile. The second option would be the bridge. The bridge is like when you're missing the tooth in the middle, I would say. The dentist might prepare the tooth, you know, the adjacent teeth and then make the bridge like build it in, just like when you make a bridge. Mm -hmm. The third option that I think would be, might be the best option now, it's a dental implant. Why would that be the best option? Well, the dental implant, basically it's a, it's a fake root. Mm -hmm. It looks like the root of the tooth, that the, it's the made of the, the titanium. The dentist will, you know, like surgically like place into your jawbone. And after that, you know, just wait like about three to six months. And after that, they just like start building, make a new tooth for the patient. Mm -hmm. So basically the dental implant to me, it's, you know, it feel more natural. Mm -hmm. It feel like you have a tooth back again. Thank you so much, Dr. Suchida, for sharing with us what we can do if we are in the unfortunate situation of losing our teeth. And thank you all for joining us today. And we hope to see you next time for Ask the Experts. <laughs>